Hello everybody. So I just got home. I came upstairs to change my clothes. I'm still not feeling good. Um, I'm still really sick. I'm still really tired. I did take a, um, a virus test and I'm like trying to do it. Um, and I do not have it. I guess I just have like oh, a pin up on my wall. I guess I just have like a viral infection. The baby just got over hers. So I have mine, but we did go to Costco and Walmart and cost less. And I did get a lot of groceries. I'm not fully done grocery shopping because I'm going to meal plan. So when I start work, I could just throw stuff in the crock pot or I could throw stuff anywhere else that I need it to have it cooked for when I go to work um again bear with me I have no makeup on I am still not feeling good like I said but I did want to get a video out to you guys and this video is not even going to be edited I'm just going to push it out to you guys um because I miss talking to you guys and I miss hearing everybody and what everybody has to say um again bear with me I know I'm saying uh, a lot if you're new here don't forget to like and subscribe this is a real channel I'm real you're real no one's perfect and that's perfectly okay on my channel let me get downstairs and let me show you what I got. All right, guys. All right, so I'm going to show you guys everything that we got from, we went to, he's making dinner in the back. <laughs> um, our, we went to Costco, we went to Costless, we went to Walmart, is that it? And we went to Save Mart. So I'm gonna show you everything. Everything's kind of mixed up in here. My voice is still like, pretty much gone it's going and it's coming so bear with me but i wanted to make sure to get you guys out of video i've been sick and the baby's been sick the last week just not feeling good um so i'm gonna show you what oh no hold on um i'm gonna show you exactly what i got and then um we will go from there so I will start from here. So for Super Bowl, I was asked to make enchiladas, homemade green and chili enchiladas. So I got two big bags of the tomatillos, the green tomatoes. I got two bunches of the cilantro. I got broccoli florets for my freezer and for casserole dishes. So that way when I go back to work, I can just pop something in the oven for everybody for dinner. Um, or the honey can make dinner. Um, I got some more of this lettuce because my daughter has been really into eating salads lately and I'm trying to encourage it. It's a really healthy thing for her to do, so why not? Got some cucumbers, sweet bell peppers. I got the honey absolutely loves when I make these. These are from Costco. They used to be $17.00. But now they're 22, which I find completely ridiculous. I could make it myself, but why make it myself if I can just buy it like this one one night and just throw it in the oven? I do like to put my own topping on it, though. I do make an egg wash. Okay, so I do like to put my own egg wash on top of this. Um, and I like to put my own seasonings on top of this, and it makes it really crispy. When I do it, I'll show you guys. I know it's a little bit dim in here. We have the living room light off because he's trying to relax and he's going to play his game for a little while while I do this um so I have this poblano peppers that's for the enchiladas um I like to roast these I make my own homemade salsa for my enchiladas I make everything all homemade so I do roast some of the poblano peppers to put inside of the salsa I did get a thing of eggs from Costco and then from Starbucks, my favorite thing in the world from Starbucks is their chocolate croissants. But I love these ones from Costco because I can just kind of open a corner of it and then pop it in the um, microwave for like 10 seconds and it warms it up. So they taste just like the Costco ones. I love them. And the baby likes them also. So they're a quick, easy little breakfast or a snack or something. I, I used to get this, well, my grandmother used to get me this granola when I was little. And we actually, I grew up Mormon, so we actually used to get it from the Mormon Church Food Bank. They have a food bank where you can go and you can just get different um, foods. 
um, they like kind of share everything, I guess you can say. So in our Mormon church, we used to go to their food pantry and we used to pick out different like granolas and stuff like that. So this really reminds me, it's like a nostalgia type thing. It reminds me of my grandmother. Okay, come over here. I got some Star Crunches. I haven't had these in a long time. I used to get them all the time and I haven't had them. I got this for tonight for dinner. It is, as you can see, it's dark outside, but we're having a late dinner. It's Friday night, so don't come for me because I'm not feeling good and at least everybody's eating. So Korean barbecue style beef, I'm gonna make this. Then I found this beef baloki. I don't know how you pronounce it. I'm gonna make that for a different dinner one night. Thought that would be a really quick and easy dinner. Um, let's see. I got this for the kitty box to deodorize the kitty box. I did need some new dish soap, so I went ahead and I got this. It's the equivalent to the um Got it, what is it, Dawn dish soap, but it's just cheaper, but it's the same thing. They compare them and it's exactly the same. I'm going to make my own laundry soap again. So this time I did get the borax and I got some dish pods. I seen on TV that these are new and improved now. So I, I normally get the other kind, but um, I did want to try these. We needed some new Tide Pods, so I got some more Tide Pods. Baby wipes, we needed baby wipes. Back here, we always get these because they don't have to be refrigerated. And we can pop them in the baby's diaper bag and she can drink those for when she gets tired or cranky or we're out for a long day. She's able to just go ahead and, you know, we can crack one, shake it up, crack one of those and pour it inside of her bottle. And it's just a really convenient thing to store in the car um, and they won't go bad. And it's cold outside anyways, so it's not gonna go bad. I did get some more of these heavy duty scrubbers, the scotch Bright ones. I do like those. Um, I wanna try the scrub daddies, but I don't know, I just didn't get them this time. I was gonna get them, but I just opted. I was like, well, I got these ones. There's no reason for me to try those other ones right now. Um, like I said, I got these for the lawn. I got four of those. And if you don't know what that is, you guys can go back to one of my videos. And I did a video on the laundry soap that I make homemade. And this is a Mexican fabric softener. And it just dissolves better. It's not a liquid, so it's not going to like really stay, stay on your clothes. And sometimes those liquids will stain your clothes also. So I like this because it's not, it doesn't have the coloring in it. You know, it's all natural laundry soap. It's finely graded um, and it just dissolves super, super quick. And, you know, it doesn't take a lot to get out of the clothes, but it really refreshes your clothes. All right. Moving over here, I'm out of breath, huh? Whew. Okay, moving over here, comment. If I could bathe in this stuff, I would. I absolutely love the smell of it. I love the texture of it. I love, I love it, love it, love it. I like scrubbing my hands with it. I scrub the kitchen sink out with it. The bathtub's out with it. The toilet's out with it. Um, my showers, I absolutely, and it's weird, it's like, I don't, it's not an obsession, but I really love the smell of it, and like I said, if I could bathe in it, I probably would, because um, I just feel really, really clean whenever I use it, so I like it. <laughs> Here are jalapeno peppers for the salsa, um, for the enchiladas that I'm gonna make. I probably will use Maybe about half the bag. We'll see. I did get two of the unsalted sweet cream butters and I got two of the packs of the salted sweet cream. I like the unsalted sweet cream because when I make breads or cookies or anything like that, I like to use the unsalted because you're already adding salt inside your cookies and everything else. There's no need to add more. So I will use that. The salted sweet cream is, I like to put in my butter dish and we use, um, that for like on toast and different stuff like that. Okay, moving this way. 
don't know if you guys can hear me still. My voice is still jacked up. So again, bear with me. I did get two things of Nana's. I said Nana's. Bananas. The baby calls them Nana's or Nanners. I think she heard me. She's going to come over here and ask for <laughs> Um, Really weird fact. My honey does not like bananas. It makes him throw up. He can't eat them. Um, even if I make banana bread, he will not eat it. We were arguing about that in the store. Because then he picks these up, and he's like, I want these. I'm like, what do you mean you want those? You don't even like bananas. He's like, no, I like the banana flavor. I just don't like the banana or the banana texture. I'm like, how does that even work? It, it, it just doesn't, I don't know. It's beyond me. So I got offended. But it is what it is, because I make some bomb banana bread. Um... All right, we got these to make chicharrons. If you don't know what these are, these are like a Mexican treat. And what you do is you take, you heat up an entire pot of oil and you pop one of these in and they like completely like pop up. Like they're about like this big. They're like Mexican chips. You can put chili on them and lemon juice on them or lime juice. Um... They're super, super yummy. I love them. So my kids love them. I ended up getting another big bag of these. And then I got the ones that are the square. And these ones turn into like sheets. And I'll show you guys how I make these on another video. That would be a really simple video for me to show you. But you can take these... Excuse me, I'm trying to catch my breath. Um, spread some beans on them, put a little bit of meat on top of them with some like shredded cabbage and lemon and lime juice and whatever, and they're super, super good. Did get the baby some more grapes. She has an obsession right now with grapes. She's like me, she loves fruit. I am a fruit person. I would much rather have fruit than, than what? Than flowers or anything. Bring me fruit. I love, love, love fruit. Um... The honey wanted this tri-tip, so we did end up getting this tri-tip. And he said that he can make this one night for dinner whenever I start working. So I went ahead and got that. As you guys know, he does not eat pork, but he did see these pork ribs in the fridge section at Costco, which is a really good deal. It's 35 34 but there's two slabs of the pork ribs here, and they're already pre-seasoned, so... That's really good, and he can make that also one night for dinner, and then just, it's ready. <laughs> um, chicken thighs. I did get two packs of chicken thighs. That one was a little bit bigger of a pack, so it was $18.38, 36 I'm sorry. This one was $16.46. In my opinion, chicken thighs hold the most flavor. Um... So I do like chicken thighs. I really, really do like chicken thighs. I did get... Oh, I'm dropping the stuff. Hold on. Let me pick it up. Okay. I did get um, some chicken breasts here. These are some big old honking pieces of chicken breasts. This is for the chicken enchiladas that I'm going to make. Um, and I got two things of those because we always have a lot of people that go over to where we go for... Super Bowl, and they always say, can she bring her enchiladas, or can she bring her Mexican rice? <laughs> um, so I did get two things of that. I got a, the honey said, what can he help me with to prepare for the enchiladas? So I told him, you can boil the chicken, and um, for, I'll, I'll give him another task. I don't know, because it, it takes a long, it takes like all day long to make the enchiladas, because I make it all homemade. Um, I got some beef stew meat. I got two packs of that. It's already cut up, so I can make like, I don't know, some crock pot meals out of that. I did get some ground beef. I'm gonna separate this into like pound each and then put them in Ziploc bags. Uh, the hubby said he has a meal planned for Valentine's for me, so I'm super, I'm super excited. I'm super excited about that. Um, I will be doing a decorate with me for valentine's for the kids i do like to decorate and stuff so i did get like a balloon bouquet and some snacks and stuff so i will be doing that 
<laughs> you guys don't even want to know what I just experienced right now. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Like I said, guys, this is a real video and I'm going to post this so you guys can hear. Hopefully you didn't hear what was going on in the background right now. <laughs> It wasn't me, but I'm just saying. Okay, so I got some cuties for the baby. I really want to start giving her some more citrus and stuff. Hey, hi. How are you? I heard you got something for me. Hi. Can you say hi? Can you say hi? Look at me. Look at, stay right there. Look at her little outfit. Do you want to see what it says? It says, my mama really don't play though. <laughs> What you doing? And then she has her little bell bottoms on. Can you see those? Can you stand up? Ooh, you look so cute. She's playing with my flower bin right there. Okay. What? I know I see that. Okay, so I got some garlic. That's going to go for the salsa. And I got some celery because I like to do some like mise en place or I don't know how you say it. But I like to cut up um, celery and onions and carrots and kind of the the holy trinity is what they call it in the south um so i like to do that uh what else did i get okay i'm going to put this stuff away and then i will be back to show you the rest what are you doing come here come here <laughs> she, no <laughs> <laughs> sit <laughs> she's watching her movie i will be right back to show you guys what else i got so let me put this stuff away um and then i oh my god i look horrible but i also don't feel good right now so don't come for me so let me like i said put this stuff away and i will be right back all right so this is the rest of the stuff that i got um for what i shopped for today um, I enlisted my oldest to help me put the rest of the way and we got the bags on the ground. So don't go too far. Um, I told you guys I'm going to be doing my Valentine's, uh, board. So I got some pink strawberry donuts. I got some ginger chew cookies, but these are just for me. <laughs> um, the hubby and I kind of, I was like, Hey, let's get some snacks just for you and I, and the kids can have one every now and then. But um, I got myself some of these sour belts. I was trying to decide between the mango, the strawberry, and the raspberry. I don't like the rainbow ones. I don't know. I don't like the flavor, but I always go after the raspberry, the blue raspberry ones. I love them. So, <coughs> excuse me. I'm going to try and do this quick because, again, still not feeling good. So... I had to cut the video. The baby was carrying around the tablet. She's crying because she likes to touch it. And nope. when she touches it, it messes up the entire... She likes to watch Blippi. She calls him Whoopi. <laughs> um, so she was upset. I got two root beers. I love root beer. I got the root beers. I got some country kitchen, just some syrup. And it was on sale for $2 for this big 36 full ounce thing. Sweet and sour. I mean, sweet and spicy. Um, barbecue sauce, turnstile butter, well, margarine, I would say. Some of these mini apple pies. Some of those for my board. I wanted some of these because I like to. All right, guys. So once again, I had to cut it. The baby wanted a uh, little cutie orange. So where was I? Again, guys, this is real. I'm not editing this video, so... You guys are getting everything. But I seen that I had like a can of split pea soup. I can make it homemade, but it was a can. And I like to fry up some ham sometimes and put it in. So I just went ahead and got some of this to throw in my freezer. The honey wanted some biscuits for breakfast in the morning tomorrow. So we got two of those. I got a thing of potatoes. Regular potatoes can make... Um, Baked potatoes, mashed potatoes, anything that, you know, sounds good. Some French fries or something for breakfast. So I did get a big bag of this. This was only two bucks, I believe, at Walmart. And so I was like, wow, instead of five, I'll pay two. I did go ahead and get some of these um, sweet potatoes because sweet potatoes have so much nutrients in them. And I have been craving sweet potatoes with lots of butter lately. So I went ahead and got that. 
I did get some of these cookies. These are my favorite. So not fun fact, but fact. After my surgery, I can no longer really drink milk. I used to drink a gallon of whole milk to myself in like a day or two. To myself, not with the kids, nobody else. I would go to the movie theater and I would buy a half gallon of milk and I would take it in with me. That's how much milk I used to drink and now I can't drink it at all. Super sucks, but that's life. Chicken party wings, the honey is making wings for Super Bowl. And then I went ahead and got two of these um, young chickens just to make for a dinner one night. And then this is the star of the show. I went ahead and got this little cupcake cake. Uh, it's the McCaffrey one. And um, I like the 49ers. My honey likes... God, I don't know what that is. Um, my honey likes the Jets. But since it's KC, he's going to wear a KC jersey to... Um, to the thing and I'm gonna wear my Niners jersey but we seen this and we were like oh my god that's so cool I also went ahead and got two primes for the kids the boys um I didn't know that my son did not like these primes I thought the whole time that he liked them no you don't like them I thought he did so I've been getting them for him and I I guess I, I don't know, but Glowberry Hydration and then Cherry Freeze is what I got. Are you eating oranges? Oh, yeah. You want more? It's right there, honey. Look. Here you go. Another one. You want another one? Say thank you. Can you say thank you? She's like, no, this is too interesting. Oh, my goodness. Is that good? It's so good. <laughs> all right so that is everything that we got say hello to Belle she just got home from her friend's house she went after school and they went to where'd you guys go the mall and then, and then they went to her house for a little bit and then they went bowling so I gotta put the rest of this stuff away I gotta pick up the bags on the ground um and I already put some stuff away. So this is the haul. Again, I'm not going to sit here and edit it because I don't feel good. I'm going to may take out a couple little things to make it a quicker video. But I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what we got from all the stores. Crash and burn. Baby fell. All right, guys. Thanks for stopping by. Can you say bye? Bye. Say I love you. Say, say I love you. She's all better now. She cried for a second and now she's back to eating her orange. Is that good? Zahara? Is that good? Oh my goodness. <laughs>